Welcome back to another episode of Two Beers, One Movie. We're talking about the outrageous Babylon. <sighs> yes, another episode of... Two beers, one movie in association with Top Floor Films. We're talking about Damien Chazelle's outrageously outlandish, absolutely fucking mind-bogglingly crazy Babylon. It's starring Diego Clava. Is it Clava or Calava? As Manny. It's starring Brad Pitt as Jack Conrad and Margaret Roby or Margot Roby Margaret, very Irish Margot Roby as Nelly it is an absolutely oh, where do you start with this movie all I'm going to say is I fucking loved it it's about three different uh, types of people who either want to get into the film industry in the uh, the 20s or people who are or someone who's in the film industry and kind of struggles as it progresses through its different type of eras from colour to sound and that will be Brad Pitt playing Jack Conrad Margaret Robbie is this uh, Margaret I keep doing that's very Irish she's a an aspiring actress who wants to get into show business and then there is Manny, played by Diego, who he's helping around at these Hollywood parties, these big shindigs, and he really wants to get into the film industry, uh, producing, directing, whatever it may be, and he's really just grunting his way up to getting there. They all cross paths, uh, mainly Manny and Nelly at the, at the beginning of the film in this uh, big... Oh, uh, it, it, you'd like to call it a party but it's not a party it's so outlandish and crazy that you're either going to hate it or love it and a lot of a lot of critics didn't like it I absolutely love every second of it it's really fast paced it remind me a lot of a Tarantino uh, yeah Tarantino and Scorsese toy film Um, it's really really fast paced the music is fantastic. The editing is amazing. The performances are really good. Uh, Roby is uh, and and Diego, they really do scene steal every time they're on the camera. I do think Brad Pitt is absolutely fantastic in this as well. But like he's fantastic and everything. There's lots of great cameos in there too. Toby Maguire, uh, I believe he's one of the producers of the film as well. He makes a cameo appearance appearance in some absolutely, again, outra- outlandish scene. Most of the scenes in this are just crazy. And it's kind of broken up into, like, the whole thing just feels like a large set piece. Um, it kind of feels like this is what Elvis probably, what they were trying to go for, Elvis. And some people, I think, like Elvis more than they like this. I rather this so much more. Uh, the scene in the desert when they're uh, making all those films is absolutely phenomenal. Just had me laughing. Uh, had me like just on the edge of my seat. It really, really had me engaged and entertained all the way through. Excellent performances. With every uh, film that Damien makes, the music is always fantastic. It's always really on point. And it really does... Um, really does pull you in with these characters as well. I really, really enjoyed it. It's probably one of my favourite films of the year. Definitely will make it into my top 10 of 2023 that I've seen. As I mentioned, some people do not like it. I absolutely found it just so entertaining. There's, it's hard to explain to people what type of film it is without giving stuff away like the first 30 minutes is just basically at this party and there's a lots of crazy shenanigans going on from people being peed on um to elephants that's all i'll say about that scene 
Then there's the desert scene, uh, which is again another fantastic scene. And it walked its way through the eras of cinema within Hollywood from no sound all the way to sound and colour. Uh, and then the final shot of the film gave me goosebumps, I believe. Uh, well, I, I, it's not that I believe. I think or I feel for myself as a cinema lover that scene was just so uh, so moving so hair raising I suppose I got goosebumps on my body watching this film especially that scene because it's just I, again I don't want to give anything away but the final shot is really good um, there's lots of kind of uh, hints and subtle kind of throwbacks to singing in the rain within the film too um it's kind of prominent throughout which is kind of cool and kind of good and yeah i, I just i really enjoyed this is definitely one of my favorite films of the year i just wish it got a bit more uh a bit more credit from the critics i suppose i don't know why they hate it so uh, yeah, their argument is it's a bit incoherent it's a bit sometimes maybe comes across a bit of a mess. I believe it's supposed to be like that. That's the whole point of it. Um, I just loved every minute of it. It wasn't incoherent to me. I get why people do think that, but I followed it all the way through. Scene to scene, everything made sense to me. It moved me. It made me feel or remind me why I love cinema. Not that I need to be reminded, but it just gives you a little kick. Um, and it's definitely a movie you want to watch in the cinema if you can watch it at home, cool but yeah, it's one of them cinema movies oh yeah, go see it but please like, subscribe, tell me what you think of uh, Babylon please like, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next episode of Two Beers, One Movie here we go